All right. Hey, I'm Caleb from Caleb's Aviation. This is the Caleb's Aviation podcast. This is episode two. Welcome back if you're new and joining us. Today, I'm interviewing my friend, my fellow aviation enthusiast, my cousin. This is Tim. Tim, how are you? Man, I'm doing good today. I'm, I'm glad to be on here with you. Um, can, can, can how I'm doing be my introduction for you? Oh, sure. Well, this is how I'm doing. Caleb is cool because the first time I met him, he was probably anywhere between... How old were you in 2010? Hmm, making me do math here, Tim. Uh, nine, eight, eight... Okay, alright, yeah, it was either 2010 or 2011. Ten. I met Caleb at a, um, it was like a dinner, like a family, We our whole entire uh, extended family was eating dinner, and, um... Yeah, he, he, I may, I meet this guy, Caleb, and he's just running around, and then, like, we're all eating dinner, we are having spaghetti for dinner that day, and he starts, like, the first day I meet him, he starts chasing me around with the spaghetti, and I'm like, dude, is he actually gonna throw the spaghetti? I'm like, dude, he's actually gonna throw the spaghetti I'm at gonna me. cut then, like, this out of my part. I think it's a great first impression because I've never had anything like that. I never met anyone like him, and um, it's really cool as you see family grow because you you kind of remember your cousins, uncles, aunts, grandparents, sons, daughters, grandchildren as like uh, w when you first met them. You know, it's kind of like you know I, I still envision them as like the first grade. You remember them the, as the people they were. Yeah, man. Or like I don't that, picture that... I don't picture you looking like how you do now or whatever. Or right? vice versa. I picture yeah. the pictures on your YouTube channel, which are uh, not a good example. By the way, make sure to check out Tim's YouTube channel and subscribe. I'm gonna put a link up in the corner. It's awesome. You should definitely check it out. Also, he has a podcast, which is what part of this episode is going up on his as well. Yay. So if you want to see parts that aren't gonna make it into my cut, maybe go check out his. <laughs> I'll put a link there too. Thanks, man. But um. Yeah, and so like it's cool as people grow because we still have that younger version of them in our minds, and now all of a sudden Caleb's a pilot. Almost. I would happily get in a plane with you with no problems. I'm comfortable with that. Like so, you know, in my opinion, like you're, you're more than a pilot, man. And um, Caleb actually just recently had a uh, a heart transplant, and I believe the great Muhammad Ali has a quote that says like you can judge the character of the man by like the quality of their heart like a man with a great heart it's going to be a great man and you know so caleb he's doing he, he's doing good he's, he's here and you know we're gonna be talking about flying maybe. so note to the editor which is also me put up there a little thing that says all right um some catchy title we need a catchy title um images and inspiration yeah we'll go with that airplane pictures and seeing where they take us see what might happen there might be some spoilers of future stuff coming up so stay tuned for that all right you're up first tim you got any pictures or whatever we'll oh, wow, leave dude, it out of my part <laughs> yeah all right all right so up first looks um, like we got a nice picture here is this from nick um all right so nick our our cousin actually he was the one who one of two people who really 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 showed me all the great things about what you can do with photography and um so he took this great picture in uh, New York. It's like in a staircase. Um, yep. I don't have it on me right now, but it just really reminded me of him being able to capture the essence of like what it looks like and feels like to be a part of the 1908 baseball game or an 1845 baseball game. And I was just like, how did you do that? Taking pictures of people in a staircase and so I was like, dude, is there any way, like, I will pay you for this picture, is there any way I can have the picture? He's like, oh yeah, I'll just send it over right now. I'm like, what, dude? So, yeah. so he sends it over, and then I was like, well, I have, a, like, a return gift for you if, like, we're going to do that. So then I sent him this one. Is like, here, here is what you inspired. Here is what your photography skills yeah. have unlocked in me. So I want to give that back to you. For those of you who don't know, Nick is our cousin. Both of us are cousins. He's our cousin, one of them. He lives off in New York City and gets made, gets money to do crap like we do, although he does it for a living. New York. New York <laughs> Nick. Dude, it's the New York Knicks, dude. The New York Nicholas. We're going to cut that. 
Oh, uh, I gotta leave that in. I gotta leave that in the bloopers. That's too Dude, good. Knickerbocker Beardsley, bro. I love it. Yeah. But yeah, yeah so it looks like it looks like here we got a moon, we got a plane, which is looks like a jet. If you zoomed in a little, looks like a hawker jet or whatever, almost. I think. You can oh, actually yeah. see the heat streaks coming off of the jet at the like around here. Or looks so. like a hawker, yeah. Okay, okay. Have. But yeah, right, so it, where it, does this picture lead you inspirationally? We'll let you go first, and then I'll say how it's for me. Okay, so the first thing that I think would be cool is, you know how there's those apps on your phones that lets you see, like, where the um, stars and constellations and planets are? Like, I can yep. pull up my phone and go, Mars is over here, and I can, like, look yep. up. And some, if you can see Mars, if it's one of those days every 13,000, Night 20... sky or whatever, yeah. Yeah, then you can see Mars. I love that app. Mars. By the way, that that's not an ad. I love that app. But if someone at Night Sky is watching, hit me up, email me. I'll leave the link down below. I love, subscri I love podcast people to talk about different stuff. So, yeah, that would be um, sweet. Well, so I think it'd be cool if you had an app where, like, um, if you were closer, like, relatively in the distance, um, but within viewing site, if you could see, like, the actual, if it would point out the actual planes your loved ones, friends, or just acquaintances were on, then you could, like, follow the map and you could look up and be like, oh, hey, like... That's actually a thing, actually. John's on that, really? And there's a really awesome app out there called Flight Radar 24, and it's got a little feature called AR, Augmented Reality. I hold up my phone, and it shows me any plane going nearby, exactly what it is, where it's going, all that sort of stuff. By the way, also not a sponsor, but if you want to sponsor me, definitely email me. Put it down there. But yeah, I think Tim's pulled up another picture here for us. What is this? Give me the explanation here. What's the 411? Dude, wait, so do you want me to tell you what it makes me think of, or do you yes. want me to... Okay, Dark dude, so this makes me think of, if we had paper airplanes that we could sell that were made out of, like, a, a cardboard, like, you know those paper cups, how they have that kind of, like, um... Yep, I know what a, you mean. You, you can drink water out of the paper cup, like, it's a thicker paper, there's a little bit of, like, a... Like those solo cup things... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's coated not like ones. a foam. You're yeah, coated, coating, coating. Yeah. You could, like, mark it and, like, give people paper airplanes made out of, like, that thicker paper. They could, they, they could like, the perfect paper airplane that they could reuse over and oh, over yeah. again. No I one steal our cool. idea. No one <laughs> steal our idea. We're going to market that. No one and, steal that. Um, I think it would be, or, like, if we could make mini airplanes, like, like, again, like a paper airplane kind of um, size, but, like, yep. out of recycled airplane parts. Uh -huh. Or if we made like bouncy, like like rubber airplanes out of the recycled airplane wheels, I think that could be really cool. That's where this picture. Yeah, me. this picture for me kind of has more of a sad outlook, but I have a sad mind. Uh -huh. When we look at this, I see I see clouds. I see some different colorations. It makes me think of climate change and different the carbon impact of all the flights on the planet. Well, the color change in there trapping into heat, that's what it makes me think of. Or like when there's a volcanic eruption, how it gets that color through the sunlight. Yes. What do you picture when you see this item here? Uh, am I looking at the cockpit or the red airplane? This is the cockpit of a plane. This is the cockpit of the plane I fly, specifically 572 Romeo Juliet. This one is. That's beautiful. Um, what I see here is like, it reminds me of a video game that can actually get you places yeah like it's it doesn't like, like flight it's not sim kind of but like it, it looks like a fun awesome it looks like an ideal joyride if i was to have a joyride in anything or any sort of vehicle gadget like um invention i guess this looks like the ideal ride to have a joyride in the ideal machine it's very comfy very homey looks very personal like, so, you know, like, whoever is on this flight is going to have a lot of personal attention. And, like, you know, the flight's probably going to be catered to what the individual would like to do, whether that be the pilot, passenger, co-pilot, whoever. It just looks like a fun time. But, I mean, yeah. It looks like a really fun time. So, this is the cockpit on the plane I fly, the red one, 572 Romeo Juliet. Like the ride this of is, your life. Yeah. This is her current cockpit. There she is. This is the one I fly currently. This would probably be the one you'd come with if we came on this plane. If we went and did that Skyline trip in Detroit that we're talking, working out. I like that cockpit, but what I really like, I really like more 1000s on the new cockpits on the Skyhawks. 
so they are pretty cool so i'm up again we got another picture here or did you yeah i got a picture here then i can have you go if you want go well, it's the got same the corner one? Okay, thing okay. like i wanted there we go oh the 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 on the wing are you saying they made that like 45 degree or like like it was like what was it uh, it was like two thirds that's the of winglet mm -hmm. that yeah, winglet and... is about six feet tall on the end that's a Lufthansa 747 400 Victor and it, Papa. It and, it, and it makes the fuel efficiency much better. Tonja 747 400. What do you picture here? What does this inspire you of? What would you think of by this picture? This inspires me to essentially take the innovation that we made the plane from the animals. Like, like we took the wing of the bird and we made the plane. And so what if we took the uh, inverted winglet, which makes the um, wings much more aerodynamic and brought those back to the birds and said, hey, we have something for you guys. You gave us something, we have something for you. And, and we gave like the birds a way, like, like an edible winglet to their wings to make- Like if their... we could make bird winglets more efficient. And more aerodynamic here, you can fly down south a lot easier. Like you Less work, it would be less, less work. Less calories needed. Better. Yeah, that, that's what it makes me think. Yeah. Of. So it's this guy Lenzeloft or a girl Lenzeloft. I don't know who it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know which gender. There's, of there's human Central it is. Park. But yeah, they take these wildly, ridiculously high photos. Um, that's got to be City. at least six, seven thousand feet up to get that it's much scale of the ridiculous. buildings. Yeah, these are some of my favorite pictures that um, other people have taken. Yeah, they do phenomenal ones just because it's like, you know, we've seen, or many people on average, I guess you could say, have seen skyline pictures of New York City or pictures over the city, but like this just takes it to a whole new height. Oh yeah, literally and, like, you know, and figuratively. Yeah, the, the pictures <laughs> are very like clear and very detailed, so that's really cool. Very real um, as well. Yeah, It's man. a real thing, it's not like a fake, I thought that was a fake screensaver for a minute when right? you put that on. Like, this ain't like, no it's anime. too good. It's too this good. This ain't no CGI. This ain't no AI. This is a guy in a... Heli it's not AI. It's a drone. It's a helicopter. This is probably no, like, a drone. Like, but, like, I mean, I think it's a pert. Like, he goes up in the helicopters. Oh. Because it's, it, it's aerial photography. It would be more likely to be... Yeah, that's helicopter. There's World Trade Center. He's British. Cent Center TRE. The way he spelled center, it's the British way. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think I think it's helicopter, dude. Um, but yeah, what is uh, what is this picture? That tell me or or uh, describe to me what this picture inspires you. I think for one of first off heights, I don't like heights like that looking straight down. Uh huh. It really shows the scale of how big Central Park is over all of it. Like, you picture this tiny little thing, you don't picture such a huge, expansive area. You know? That's the first thing that comes to my mind. Like that pond, you see that pond, like the big pond here? Mm -hmm. I walked around that pond, and it, like, it took me a long time, and, like, I didn't even get to, like, the golf course, or the castle, or, like, It's about like three that. miles around, just about. What? The pond or the park? The pond. Oh my gosh, dude! If I remember right, that might not be fully accurate. Uh, yes. Oh, oh, this is a nice one, dude. Yeah. So it looks like we've got a 747 here again from the uh -huh. view, the four engines, the shape underneath. This one again makes me think of the climate stuff and the trails that it leaves behind, the carbon in the air. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the big reasons they have stopped making the 747s, honestly, is because they're less efficient. They burn twice as much fuel as the twin engine planes and the twin planes, like the 777X and stuff, can now make the routes almost as long. A Virgin Atlantic flight, this Virgin Atlantic plane, took the very first ever flight uh, on sustainable aviation fuel, 100% crossed the Atlantic on nothing but SAFs. Wow. And that was a big innovation thing, a big change. And they're hoping, Virgin is hoping at least, that they can start using this more and more on future flights as it's proved perfectly safe and it's a great alternative, it puts no carbon in the air, it's a great change. Only because it's so problematic that there's not a good solution at the moment. 
interesting, man. But yeah, I, I think it's interesting that like one like small to medium sized volcanic eruption releases the same amount of methane as about ten thousand cow farts. And so it's like the, the the cows and the cow farts in particular. Like, dude, it was in my environmental science class, man. And this our, our our teacher was just so 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 like stoked to teach us about like when your car emissions aren't actually like as big of a problem as when you consider the cow farts. And so I was just thinking, like, dude, these cow farts and these uh, volcanic eruptions, like, mm-hmm. are plane emissions like really? Like, like it, it, is it because of the height they're at while they're releasing the certain emissions that makes it what it yeah, is? Yeah, that's like, part of it. Okay. Also, you mentioned volcanic eruptions. One yeah. of the big things is that is one of the big things from volcanic eruptions that happens. Dude, if we could get... That's carbon monoxide. Fly over one of those, dude. Oh my gosh. In fact, these pictures are almost all taken from airplanes. When they took these pictures in the 1980s when Mount St. Helens erupted, these were all airplane-based pictures. dude. This ain't no baking soda and vinegar. There's a good picture. Oh my gosh, dude. (laughs) Yeah. It really inspires me to do another thing here at some point. I want to do this someday. This is up in Iceland. They get all these the pictures. Picture. Oh wow, dude! I'd like to fly to Iceland to see when the volcano is actually going, because I think it would be cool. And all these flights that fly up out and over it. Um, where's a good high up one? There's a good one. Ooh! Looks like a pumpkin. Looks like yeah, Halloween. Yeah, it's a dude. live one. A live pumpkin. Okay. Let's try that again. But yeah, what I'd really like is one at night, like this sort of thing. This is a cool one. That would be a really good photo shoot. Detroit apparently has Skyline helicopter tours. That's cool. I didn't know that. Hmm. hmm. That might cause a little bit of money spending. <laughs> hmm. Oh crap. I wish I didn't find that. Find that. <laughs> Oh boy, people, we might have to put out another trip on this budget change. Dude, this is what it's like. So, like, what this is like for you... There's a good one. That is very beautiful. I want one like this, flying uh, right by the Yes, 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 yes. Dude, that's it. Like that. Yes, yes, that's it. That is it, dude. That's what we have to do. Okay. That is what we're gonna try to do when we come when you come with me in the plane. We're gonna yeah, try to fly along beautiful. up over the skyline like that. Yeah. So yeah, spoiler ahead for those people to keep an eye out for that video someday. Because it I will see happen. My friend's department. But yeah, it will happen at some point, people, so be ready for that. And yeah, that's gonna be that that's part. So beautiful dude. Do you have any others you want to share or whatever? Um, I need to find it really quick, but I'm almost on the guy's page. Okay, and then I'll be I'll keep this picture here for a minute. Then it'll okay. be the last thing once you share yours. Alright. Are you still fixing your house then? Yeah. Can't read can't load the page. Oh here we go. How much longer is that gonna take? A, a month. <laughs> Can you leave this out of the recording, though? This this will all be cut out. Oh, thanks, dude. It'll um, be cut out from where I stopped talking about the picture and said we should keep an eye out on oh, that. Okay. Then it will stop um, to you with the next picture. Is there any way you could send me like all just like the unedited videos too? Ooh, we've got this yeah. picture I took coming into Seattle a while ago. Beautiful. This was Mount. My Rainier friend hiked Seattle. that, dude. Mm-hmm. She worked on the F-22 Raptors. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good plane. We'll put a cool picture up there. That's a like good the plane. Like screwing in the screws perfectly. And I, I was watching uh, air show tricks with both the F-22 Raptors and it's like, whoa, dude. Like I see why everything has to be perfect, but it shows you that everything can be perfect. Plane. This was okay. a pretty good one for my GoPro. Oh, th- you did this. This is you. I love the visors, dude. Mm-hmm. I love the visors. 
You can get some good pictures with that. It's a super visor, dude. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna it's cut out the sound words there. Okay. But yeah. That's a good picture. Um, that one just makes me picture missing not being able to be flying right now. And I wish it's I were a, doing that. It's a friendly flight. It has like a very friendly atmosphere to it. Mm -hmm. And then, of it's course, we have flight, man. we have one of my all Pan Airlines triple seven. So, are you in a plane taking a picture of a plane? Um, this was inside the terminal, looking through the dirty glass. Oh, windows. okay, okay, okay. Got it. No, this one was on the plane. Okay. You see it says Delta on the plane reflection windows? I was in a plane pulling up, and it says... Right there. Yeah, I was pulling up in another plane, oh. and I got that picture. Okay, um, so... You're... This was this a Japan Airlines. This is the 777, or the... Yeah, there's a better picture. Okay, okay. Whoa, dude! Just this it's scale like... of a 777 is oh just the God. most mind-boggling thing. And you're saying they made those like as efficient as the 747s, which is why the they newer ones. Mm -hmm. okay. They hold Dude, almost as many people. You know how you can go to Subway and get like a foot long, but there's like you can go to Jersey Mike's and get an 18 inch long sub, or like <laughs> there, there's certain sub restaurants where you can get like a 24 inch sub. This, this looks like a 24 inch sub. It's a big on one. a plane, dude. This is like a 24 inch sub. This is a triple seven 300er. Those sets of windows from the words upward here are all the first class suites. Although wow. a lot of people say the ANA suite is better. Japan Airlines, big customer, ANA, the other Japanese airline. Okay. ANA, the thing. Dude. There's a good Fly one. Fly like a G6 There's on a triple seven. It's pretty wow, cool. Wow, dude. It's big. Extendo airplane. Two. That's wild. You can, That's fit, crazy. you can fit two people in that seat. And so if a 747 fully loaded, fully fueled up, weighs like 947,000 pounds or whatever, 970,000 pounds, whatever it is, mm -hmm. how much do you think one of these would weigh? Like um, a little capacity? more than a little less than half. The engines and Wait, the fuel so take up most of the weight. Oh, so the 747 weighs almost twice as much as this? Probably. But yeah, so this this oh. engine here, this 777 engine, the GD9015B, you could fit the inside of a 737 inside of it. You could fit six seats inside that engine. What? <laughs> yeah. What, dude? They're so massive, it's scary. Like six seats of like the, the business of normal class? Oh, oh, economy. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. But, and it's got a full That's flat. Still, dude. The room's That's got like a fully three flat. Rows of people, bro. It's got a fully flat bed in the room. It's awesome. So 350. Those... There's a Delta. That plane could fit inside there. The inside of that plane could fit in that engine. Wow. This is a Delta A350, my friend Jeb took all the way from Atlanta to Sydney through Los Angeles. That's 24 that's hours nice in there, sweet. This is the Delta One sweet, fully flat door that closes. It's got a fully closing door. It's awesome. Wow. Dude, but like, how big are the ovens to be able to feed people three, five course meals in capacity? Uh, yeah, this big, probably the size of my computer screen. Like, how many do you think there are, maybe? 12, I'm like 14. A... Oh, dude, that's wild. But they do, um, like, business class gets their food first, and theirs is most important, then premium, okay. then economy. Okay. Um, in fact, I'll get to see all of that stuff up close in person, because when I fly with Lufthansa on their 747-8 this winter to Germany. Okay. All right, so that's going to be it for this podcast. I thank, Thanks, Tim, to being here and joining us. We may have to have you join again sometime. But yeah, that was basically this podcast. We've been talking about all sorts of aviation topics and pictures and basically what they make us think of. We'll definitely be back at some point, make a video on board that Detroit Skyline thing we're going to do. I really think I'm going to spend the money. You had something, Tim? I am excited. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, thank you, Caleb. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it and all the things that it, this inspired. So I appreciate it, man. 
Oh yeah, thanks. That's gonna be for this podcast. Make sure to like, subscribe, and check out my channel. I'll put the link to Tim's, all the stuff like that. All right, thanks. Thank, that's thank it. you on behalf of humanity. <laughs> As that's it. As always, wishing you blue skies and tail.